What the? I cannot believe it. I woke up from my sleep. I heard from a fellow colleague some odd years apart that my theory of relativity is wrong. Uh, awkward. I do not know what to say. Earth has become too congested with people and cell phone plants that just do not make sense. We have been sent by Rogers and NASA to start a new life here on the moon. Is that right? Please. Speak English, I only understand German. How are you not wearing a space helmet? I helped you get to the moon, you idiot. Do you not think I am capable to fly to the moon and breathe air that does not exist? Weak bro. You are crazy. If you are so smart, can you tell me why small startup cellular providers like Mobilicity have so many customers? Amateur. They do not. Mobilicity provides no customer service whatsoever. Their call center is in the middle of nowhere, and they cannot answer any questions or concerns you have. When you purchase their overpriced phones outright, you are screwed because after a month of having their services you will want to cry. I cannot even talk with my good friend Charlie Sheen anymore, because I have no reception at the lab, and also because he is still upset about Ashton Kutcher taking his place on two and a half men. It would upset me too. I do not think Ashton was born before Charlie Boy began the show. What a shame. I guess no one enjoyed his immature pranks anymore. He has to make a living too. He will not last three seasons on two and a half men. There's no comparison between Rogers and the smaller guys. Oh, faux show. No drop calls. No data roaming across the country. Largest network in Canada. Best value bundles and peace of mind at the end of the day. Maybe if these smaller companies were not so desperate to get customers by buying out other provider contracts, Rogers would acquire them, just to save their poor customers from their great service. Personally, I would not even poke them with a stick. Agreed. E equals MC squared. Ha ha. You were almost as funny as Adam Sandler and Jack and Jill. Lame bro. Please do not quit your day job. No wonder NASA sent you to the moon. No one on Earth could stand your sense of humor. Whatever, dude. At least we both agree on some things. Wind blows, Cody stinks and Mobilicity does not have enough customers to fill a city. Finally, a half-decent thought process. I do not blame you. You were probably a sense fan. I am glad I held your hand and walked you through this.